ladies and gentlemen happy new year my darlings whatever is happening happy new year happy new year i want to say to you guys cancers happy new year let's see what's coming out for you cancers please remember these are general readings and in order to access uh, the extended reading you have to use the link and join okay cancers all right this year 2020 what does it has to bring to cancers you are going to be vibrating with the energy of um the eye princess and the divine mother and the divine father eye princess and the energy of a new start okay so the zero the start the fool is the omega so that is the energy that is coming up okay so cancers in order to access the extended reading on my channel you have to be an a uh, um, member okay so go check out my channel use the link to become a member all right so let's see what's coming up for the cancers or oh, cancers you have the energy of transition coming up in january so whatever is transpiring for you cancers i see an end coming into um, something in your world this is a water energy the year is air and you are water so this transition this change could be good or it could be bad it depends on who you are I see transition with the energy of people using their power if you were using your power I see the transition is coming up so whoever that was using their power I see a transition coming up in the month of February you're dealing with people in power or you yourself could be using your power over something and I see the end is coming in so whatever that there was where someone was using their power I see a tower moment coming down in March a lot of you water signs are receiving a tower moment in March whatever that is all about this tower moment is a fire so this tower moment is coming down in the month of April I see the energy of uh, um, negative forces negative energy it could be you using your ego so whatever is transpiring in April you gotta be aware of this because it's coming down to an end I see you in limbo in the month of May so there is transition and whatever is transpiring I see you hanging in limbo because it's as if you, some of you are waiting on something you're going within trying to figure out something I see um, you're moving forward the energy of hardship is here where you're trying to get yourself up and move forward because there was a tower moment in the month of March so first six months is not looking good for you cancers you know my apologies but this is how it is so there is a lot that going on for you cancers in the first six months and a lot of it stem from some of you have done things that is coming out the wheel of fortune is in the month of July so I see you moving forward the energy of the wheel of fortune is here in the month of July so that is good that is a fire sign that is luck coming in for you then the eye princess come up the divine mother um, the feminine divine is coming up to awaken you and to be aware of situation that is transpiring it is to awaken you and be aware I see secrets of that was old is going to be coming out so whether it's your secrets your month is going to be the month of uh, September so cancers your month is uh, um, July and September as we look at October I see the end of a situation so whatever that was playing in October I see um, the end of this situation the end of the cycle in October November I see the, an organization whatever this organization is or was this organization is coming up in November so you are dealing with people then I see the truth coming out about an organization and what has transpired so so cancers your best month is going to be july july september and november july september and november there is a lot of stuff you cancers are working on okay a lot of stuff you cancers 
or working on whatever the issue and the situation is I see you cancers working on a lot of stuff so let's go in and check out your year is the year of balance okay um, temperance comes up a lot of people uh, seems to have this remember to cross watch cross watch is good and in order to see the extended you have to become a member so let's see what's happening what is the transition that is coming in January February because uh, you have a transition coming up with an organization so some of you um, could be changing jobs January February so let's see what's coming up there is conflicts there is conflicts you are coming in in January with conflicts uh, January February I see you're dealing with some conflicts so whatever this conflicts is it could be ending for some of you in January it could be ending with uh, with some of you in February then I see some regrets a tower moment something is leaving your life whatever this is I see a tower moment comes up where whatever you were dealing with um, it's finally it's going to come to an end you have some regrets with this conflicts and it has to do with either you or people in power whatever you have done is now um, coming out I see the truth is coming in so you guys have 99 end of a cycle for something in the lives of you cancer so this year 2020 the end of a cycle for something in your lives you cancers and that is happening April going into May because I see light is shining on something that they weren't aware of then I see the the four of swords I see as you leave May going into June I see I'm um, tired you're so tired whatever that was transpiring you're so tired whatever the issue or the situation is you're so tired you just want to be left alone I see even though some of you are tired you still want to move forward I see some of you are, are standing back and letting things go and just moving forward I see an offer coming in the wheel of fortune is here in July a offer is going to be coming in for you because the wheel of fortune is here for you in July so I see some offer is coming up for you happiness with the family whatever the secrets was I see happiness is returning in the family so whatever secrets and destruction there was in the family I see happiness coming back in the family in the month of uh, um, uh, August going in September so some of you could be going to visit family at this time then I see the lies and deceptiveness is now coming out whatever the deceptiveness whatever the lies and the deceptiveness that was plain I see the energy of this world where the lies and the deceptiveness is now coming out with an corporation institute I see the cycle is going to be broken I see um, justice comes up but in the reverse for you cancer so whatever that was transpiring I see you cancers are not going to win a lawsuit because uh, and corporation have seen the lies and deceptiveness from you cancer Wow so um yes cancers Wow Wow it's gonna be a year for you cancers it's really going to be a year your best month is um really um going to be the wheel of fortune where you're going to be offered something because i see the light coming down justice is really in uh, the reverse for you cancer so i see justice is is in reverse and they're going to offer you is either you tell the truth or either you get they're going to be offering you but i see cancers whatever the deceptiveness is or was in the month of the, the, the lies they're now over okay whatever the lies and deceptive was deceptiveness was I see that they're now over okay so let's see what your what else is going to affect you in January I see a clouds I see the end of a situation I see 
the 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 conflicts that is going on there's clouds over this conflicts whatever the conflicts that was going on there's a lot of clouds over this conflicts i see emotional situation that you're dealing with with either people in power because you're having some regrets i see the gossip is now over whoever that was there gossiping and a lot of bob um, speaking bad i see that is over that is really removed out of your life in the month of april i see deceptiveness lies and deceptiveness and it has to do with some deceptiveness from people the truth is coming out i see the energy of uh, um you hanging on waiting for information that is coming from overseas i see secrets and you're walking and you're fighting to take this down whatever the secret is the wheel of fortune is bringing changes in your life and this is going to be good whatever the issue the situation is the wheel of fortune is bringing changes in your life the eye princess is showing you the lies and deceptiveness of people and family members okay the lies and deceptiveness of people and family member I've seen conflicts coming up because some secrets is going to be coming out and I see a lot of conflicts coming up secrets is here is coming out and a lot of conflicts I see you getting a letter and this letter is going to be the letter of the end of something okay and this is good I see um, you're dealing with health issues some of you um, I see some of you could be going to the hospital dealing with health issues and I'm seeing um, balance out karmas is coming up you're balancing out karmas and the last I see you seeing the truth of a contract it's as if uh, you see the truth of uh, something that was offered to you you see why it was offered to you okay so something that was offered to you now you're seeing the truth of why you were offered this thing okay so you're seeing the truth um, and it's helping you to understand why you were offered this thing so whatever it is I see um, the end of the theft okay so whatever there was some deceptiveness there was some theft I see the end of theft is coming in so whatever that is transpired i see um a lot you cancers are doing dealing with a lot because with the conflicts i see some of you having conflicts uh, um somewhere else i see some of you having conflicts somewhere else and it's as if they found out that there was some deceptiveness whether on your part or on the part of someone else i see you waiting for news and i see some secrets and the secrets that some people hold I see a transition the wheel of fortune is going to bring some changes in your life lies and deceptiveness and you're going to be seeing why a family uh, member or family have offered you something okay because there's some lies and deceptiveness I see um, a, a letter coming in and that it's like a final a, a final message but in December I see you having an offer so let's see what's coming out okay you have the starfish this is a water energy which is good you have the the slit the stingray you have the stingray and the shark all right you're sounding like your scorpion i see the stingray the stingray where you are going to be standing up and you know moving some people out of your way i see the stingray <laughs> Oh, um, hey, I see the stingray where you're standing up and really moving some people out your way. The stingray is the water. You have two water energies, um, um, you um, cancers, and that is good. You have two water energies, and this is good because the stingray is a water energy, but the shark is also a water energy, and this is good. So whatever the issue is and the situation is, I see the stingray and the water is having um, these are water energy so this is good because your water sign the other people they got like different energy vibration so let's look at the stingray and as I said this I only use this this was this is the second time I'm using this um, last year I use it so let's look at the stingray it's a water energy 
developing confidence, sense of uh, sense of self or, or spine. Now, the sting rake represents a pivotal point in personal growth. The moment has come when the sting ray must decide between the old, easy, comfortable and familiar and the new challenges, uncomfortable and unfamiliar. Pressures from family and friends make the decision even more complicated no matter what choice is made now. It is inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again as the forces of dilemma growing within the sting ray is too strong to ignore. When in balance, ego wants to grow. When in balance, blame other and um, blame others and quit. Um, to balance, move through the discomfort. Just move through the discomfort. Just take your time and move through the discomfort. And it's really a year of stingray. Now we have the energy of the shark, and the shark is the directness, explosiveness, revealingness, truths nature and desire the shark is only dangerous when don't acknowledge it this 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 that is something um needed explosiveness it's lurking in the deep and creating tension shark energy takes over us when we are hesitant to be honest be total ourselves, or to say what we really want it may be tempting to continue pretending nothing is wrong. But when the shark energy is at play, we feel its pressure encircling us. Irritation, captivity, and mysterious. In balance, sneaky and destructive. Okay, that's cancers. Um, to bring in balance, you gotta be honest, cancers. Cancers, it is really a year of honesty whatever is happening cancers it is really a year of being honest whatever the issue is and the situation that is transpiring honesty is called for in this year from you cancers okay all righty let's go and see what's happening rest and rejuviate and this is really a year to go rest and juviate, rethink things, rethink things, rethink things, whatever is transpiring, cancer, rethink things, rest in this year, take your time to um, do things, take your time to heal situations in your life and seek the truth because you need to speak the truth. Whatever is transpiring, cancer, seek the truth because you need to speak the truth. Then the angel of Atlantis, Archangel Michael, enchantment. The angel of Atlantis, Archangel, um, um, my, Archangel Michael is here, and the unicorn. So Arx, Archangel Michael, your color is going to be purple and black. Arx, Archangel Michael, to help you. Okay. Wonderful energies, cancers. Let's move on and see what's going on. Um, I want to say thank you so much for being here. Please like and share. And we'll see what is coming up. Mm -hmm.